Hi everyone, this is Chrissy from In The Stars by Chrissy.com and this is your December 2019 Love Monthly Forecast Reading. So just a quick disclaimer that this reading is going to be very general and it may or may not really tune in with the rest of you guys even though I can make very solid predictions because how I do my readings is really predictive. So just keep that in mind. So accept what you want to hear and ignore the rest if that is what you want but I would suggest that to keep in mind all the informations over here because I really want to share you guys what I'm picking up and that can lead to help you guys on how to navigate the entire month of December in case some some situations come up for you so um yeah for a more personal prediction and reading that is for you for your own situation you can do that by ordering a reading and booking a session with me through my website in the stars by chrissy.com i would advise you guys to check in with your sun moon and rising sign um, and combine all the information right there to make it more um to connect with you but basically so that you can gain a lot more information throughout this reading session even though it's just free here on youtube so um yeah thank you guys for tuning in with me and let's get on with the reading hi there sagittarius sagittarius sun moon and racing sign this is your december 2019 love monthly forecast reading with me chrissy from in the stars by chrissy.com now for this month i'm doing things a little bit differently i'm laying out every card that i usually use for my reading predictions like a tarot playing card set oracle cards and lenormand into the mix so this is how i usually do my readings i did add a few dices here and there as well and what i usually do is i channel the messages energetically psychically to get the more specific and detailed scenarios and outcome into the situation and how things are going to be navigating for you guys and if you don't know this is how i usually do my readings anyway whenever i do private sessions and this is how i used to do my readings when i first started here on youtube as well so um yeah and i noticed that you know it's a lot more accurate even for um you know youtube viewers so um yeah i prefer to do it this way it's just that i stopped doing it in this manner at one point in time because it can be quite uh, draining energetically but um hey i just want to you know do things going back into the way how i do my readings so that you can you can see how I how, how I work my with, with my readings as a whole. So um yeah, again this might be very specific or it may be very general all at the same time depending on how you are connecting with the reading. So um yeah. Without any further ado, let's get on with the reading. Do you know that it may or may not resonate with you guys? Okay. So Sagittarius. Sagittarius, there is an energy here of something too much being felt by you and your situation. There is going to be some form of realization, a lot of thought process coming into your mind. We have here an energy wherein maybe you are in a situation wherein you could be in a abusive relationship. You know, something is going overboard. Or you could be in a scenario wherein you're doing everything that you can, but the other person is not reacting anymore. Like, they don't care what you do. You might be shouting or throwing a fit here and there, and you still don't see any reaction out of them. That is possible, and that can really hurt you on a deeper level of things. On another side of things, this could be a scenario wherein you are in a relationship wherein things are hurting you. You're not benefiting in the relationship anymore. 
and this is the time we're in, you don't care anymore. You're not necessarily leaving the relationship, but you can be. But you are now at the point wherein you don't care about this relationship anymore. You are fed up, basically, is what I'm getting here. So, again, this is vice versa, okay? It can be happening to you. It could be happening to the other person. But what I'm picking up is a relationship that lacks balance you know there is something not right in the relationship so it needs some form of reformation if you want to continue this relationship because the way how things are going at this time is not working anymore and upon reality the realization of how things are going it can really make you very emotional. And the way that I see here is that, you know, you are really hurt right now. We do have a lot of complicated cards over here. We have the Three of Swords, the Four of Swords, and this is a situation we're in. Okay, we need a timeout. This is a break. Uh, maybe a cool off. Or, you know, we are being too toxic to each other that we need to, you know have a talk or maybe try to cool things down a bit there is that form of energy i also feel that this could be a scenario wherein you don't know what to expect in this relationship anymore because you know you're not getting the response that you want you're not in a relationship wherein you are liking how things are going and I'm not saying that all Sagittarius is going to feel this way. Remember, this is a general reading. It's just that the people that I'm picking up on this reading is feeling this way. And the reason that I do this um, a channeling type of reading is that I will be able to see the odds of how this is really going to be manifesting. We do have a lot of playing cards over here and it shows a lot of, you know, it has eight of spades over here, another eight of spades, and it ends with these five of spades. So I know for a fact that there's going to be someone out there who is going to be, you know, at the point of loss, at a point wherein they might cut out someone in their life or they will cut themselves out in a relationship if things does not proceed in a balanced manner at one point in time this can also be a scenario wherein you might find out something a sudden realization a sudden secret come out that kind of thing and you will find that the balance of give and take the time and energy It's not being shared between two people in a very balanced and appropriate la level of things. This can also be a situation wherein there could be a third party going on. You could be in a relationship with someone who is already in a relationship or, you know, there could be some form of third person in this setup. And you're now not seeing things clearly. Maybe you know. Maybe you don't know that this is happening. And you will come into a realization that, you know, are we really in a relationship? Or has this been one-sided all this time? So there is a need for you to reassess a lot of things. Reassess your goals. I have to be honest here. This is not the most optimistic reading but it is a reading that is meant to empower you, that is meant to give you another opinion on things that you need to evaluate on, on this relationship. There is something that you need to think about. And with the Three of Swords and the Nine of Swords over here, both representative of you, that shows how much pain this has been causing you. You are really hurting a lot. And I'm not going to be surprised if, you know, even though Sagittarius are one of the most positive 
signs in the zodiac it is showing me here that you are actually being more negative you are feeling down in a relationship maybe you are seeing things that you did not see before and that is not necessarily a bad thing in fact that is a good thing because right now you are seeing things clearly nothing is being hidden away from you but you are going to be feeling some form of confusion and for some of you guys you might be second guessing yourself like even though that the truth is right in front of your face you still want to take a look in things on a positive level or maybe giving someone the benefit of the doubt. That is also um, possible. But right now, what the message that I want to tell you guys is that this relationship is not balanced at all. It's not fair. And whether you like it or not, you will have to deal with that. You will, you know, have to deal with how things are going. And whether you admit it or not, I know for a fact that you already know that, that things are not good between you and this person. Again, this is a general reading, so I'm pretty sure that some of you guys are happy and in love. And if that is the case, you can always just, you know, switch this video up to another video because this is probably not the message that is for you. These are for the people that are already in a situation wherein things are rocky. It is showing here that, you know, the present situation is rocky. And that it is you who is doing the hard work alone. You know, the other person is not doing anything. So if you already know that the other person is being very loving to you, then already you know that this is not the reading for you. So I just want to give clear that out before anything else. So, um, yeah. So... It's going to be a hard thing because for some of you guys, you want to control what you feel. But I kind of feel that you are going to act upon your true feelings this time around. If something is not right, I kind of feel that you might express this in a very passionate way to this person. And that can lead to some messy situation or that can lead to um emotional reactive conversations that can feel very restrictive in a relationship so um yeah so there is love here but yes not balance we also have this um pisces in Sagittarius and the 12th house so this can also be a scenario wherein you are be being a drama queen a drama king or something like that something is being dramatized here it could be a situation as well wherein you might need to confront someone to correct someone to find out the truth to what it really is you don't need to just think about things and not finding out the real facts i kind of feel that you need to find out the truth instead of putting everything in your mind without and and just you know um, making a lot of assumptions assuming that this is how it is assuming that the other person is cheating when they are not because probably they are just being distant maybe they have their own reasons why they are not responding to you too much it does not always have to be cheating alone so i kind of feel that you know you might be talking a lot expressing your own thoughts expressing your own feelings without really listening without really creating that conversation and that is a really important thing you need to converse to the person you need to communicate so that the situation will develop so so that it can move forward as a result we also have here the card of listen so yes there is really a theme here of listening 
this is also a situation wherein someone is warning you for something and you are ignoring it. Or this could be a scenario wherein you are expressing your own belief and you're not really listening to the people that are trying to, to talk to you, trying to tell you the truth. You're not accepting it. We also have here balance. Like I said, balance is a theme. We also have the Six of Pentacles, which is another um, card for balance. You know, balance in the relationship is definitely going to be strong here. And we also here, we have here um, the Angel Teresa, which has a lot to do of time out. You know, maybe you need to meditate and clear out everything in in your head, in your energy field. Maybe you are doing too much. You are putting all your energy to this person, to this relationship that you're not really taking care of yourself anymore. So this is a call for action to love yourself more, to focus on yourself, focus on what's going to be happening for you at the end of the day and not really focus on something that is going to be leaving you hanging because I kind of feel that no matter what other people tell you, no matter how no matter how many people reassure you things, if you're feeling negative, you're you're still going to see things in a negative level. So this time around, instead of making drastic decisions, I don't really recommend making one though. Even though I'm getting here a time of reassessing things, I do see a form of reassessment of a relationship. But I'm not saying that you should break up with someone. But of course, that is going to be upon your own decision. I just kind of feel that with the eclipse happening for December, it's not really ideal to drastically make a decision. But um, yeah, there could be some form of situations that allows you to tell yourself that what's happening right now it's not healthy anymore and what i want is love what i want is to be with someone that can really be true to me yes the relationship is very passionate it has its ups and downs and i'm good with it but right now i'm starting to realize that stability and something that is staying Something that is for me is what I really want to have and to feel as a whole. So those are the messages that I'm picking up and channeling through this reading. So um, yeah, like I said, if things are one-sided, you might need to, you are being forced to do something about that. And if you cannot do anything to get anything out of that person, this could be a time that you need to just focus on yourself, loving yourself, and don't pay attention to the other person because there is not much you can expect from them, especially for this month. So um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys can be negative on this video. But um, this is what really what I see for you guys. So um, yeah, I just want to tell you guys the things that I'm seeing. So yeah, this is really more of, you know, putting your power back into yourself because you have given them away way too much. It's time for you. It's time to love you, Sagittarius. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, tuning in with me. I know this is a happy and quite of a negative reading. If you see it as a negative, I do see it as a sign of empowerment that, you know, tells you that things are not working out anymore and you need to change that up. And don't wait it to a point wherein you cannot repair things anymore. Because this time around, you still can repair it. If there are things that are not balanced, you can still rebalance it. 
But if we continue on that level, on that relationship, I kind of feel that this is going to a point we're in. It doesn't have any point in staying on this relationship anymore if that is the case. Because it's always going to be in that direction. And as a woman, and if you're a woman, this is a scenario wherein you would want to have stability. You would want a relationship that is fulfilling, that it, that has real love to it. And um, yeah. So um, yeah, it really depends on what you're going through right now. And like I said, this is a general reading. And the only way I can really take a look in your own situation is to have a private reading, private session with me or with anyone that you trust. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. I do apologize if this is how the reading has gone for Sagittarius. But I do hope that you start loving yourself more. Sagis, you deserve it. You have been giving your love to someone else for such a long time without getting anything in return. And believe me, sometimes when you love yourself, everything can change. Suddenly, that person might start paying attention to you. After all, you know, there's a lot of things that can change by loving yourself. So please do that. Thank you guys and I'll see you guys next year.